All right, so we're going to, I bought this um, before, uh, right after I pre-ordered the Pixel 6a, I went ahead and bought this Omoton ga glass screen protector. Now I've had this brand for various other devices and it's really has been easy to install and really high quality. It's a uh, tempered glass uh, 9H hardness. So I really was looking forward to having uh, this brand support the Pixel 6a, which they did, so that's awesome. Um, the So I've kept this particular piece of the Pixel 6a on because I don't want any dust getting onto the screen. Um, we will sort of do the alcohol wipe and, and check for dust, but I like to keep this on right until I apply. I have not even booted up this Pixel 6a at all. Um, but I want to make sure that this screen is still pristine, still in a good in good shape. So what I'll do here is I'll get a there's a this is a three pack. So we'll we'll um, we'll keep the rest because of course I have two kids. You can probably hear them in the background, and they like to um, accidentally like take my phone and throw it or. Um, the cool thing is this actually comes with a camera See there camera protector, which is uh, from the back now I have this on the microfiber cloth because I, I'm immediately going to be putting a case right on uh, The device itself, so I don't want to really mess up the back at all So I want to make sure that that's still good we have the pack of guide stickers and dust absorbers and then here we go here's one of them we'll we'll just take out a set here is a set of the um, alcohol wipe so the prep wipe there keep that this is to uh, clear the bubbles That'll, that'll be good. We'll keep that. Uh, a set of dust absorbers in, in the guide stickers. So, great. We'll put this back here. Make sure that we keep this in a safe place because I know I'm going to use it in the future. With uh, my two rowdy kids, they're going to be... I'll definitely... Uh, going to be replacing that screen. All right, so let's leave that there. We have our thing. All right. And let's let's just for um you know, to be thorough, let's look at this guy. It says ensure hands are clean and I have these gloves which I'll put on shortly. Create a hinge structure. It says wipe the device screen with a wet wipe. And, and then with the microfiber cloth, clean the remaining dust with the dust absorber to avoid any bubbles. We'll use the, we'll peel off the back of the screen protector and then um, be sure to not attach the adhesive side. We'll put on the screen protector using that hinge and then we'll use this guy to, to remove the bubbles and then we will push those bubbles out. So pretty easy to use. Um, the good thing is the Pixel 6a has a flat screen, not a curved screen. So previously, I know some um, other other screen protectors has a have a has a device or a guide to help you put the the screen on. Well, that's not required necessarily here because the screen is actually flat. Uh, it's a nice to have, but we should be able to still continue to uh, put this on pretty evenly with the hinge. So make sure that the the tab that has the the adhesive is facing down. So at this point in time, what we'll do is we will remove the actual adhesive here or this this protector. So I want to. Be cautious of that and we'll just put it right here just so it's clean up oh, there is some dust on there so um, good thing that we're going to go through this process um, 
Okay, that's where it should be. I want to make sure that this is clear. So I'm going to just lightly, lightly, there we go. And that's, that's not required. I just want to make sure that I'm placing it in the right spot. So there it is, looking, looking good so far. What we're going to do is we're going to take these guide stickers and we're going to place them. And we're going to make sure that they're placed in the right location. Um, I won't say like right location. Let's say just the top and the bottom of the actual of the actual device. So I'm just going to put a sticker right under the camera here. And I'll put another guide sticker at the bottom. Just so that we cover the whole phone and make sure that we put it in the right place. Now, the trick here, because there is no guide, and we want to make sure that this tab is in the right spot. And uh, it actually says here, please peel this off before application. All right. So the, the key is to keep this guy in place. You want to make sure that the camera hole is in the right spot. So that's good. And this is looking good right here. Now, let's see. I want to make sure that this is centered. This is good. This is good. And I am I'm applying a little bit of light pressure. And then I'm going to... Oh, see, the thing is, it's so slippery that it is hard to determine where this goes and this is where the guide is really going to help um, so it'd be nice to have a guide so that we wouldn't have to it would take out some of the guesswork so I think this is going to be okay maybe mm -hmm. I want to make sure it's centered. Okay. And then make sure that this is there. We do that. Now, so these, this is good. Make sure that the stickers are there. So far, so good. So, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put it down like that. Make sure it's in the right position I'll do it again just to make sure okay looking good looking good all right so this is the point where you would take this screen protector it's it's a wet light basically and we're gonna we're gonna take it and clean the screen and make sure that the clean that the screen is really clean and I'm gonna go in broad strokes Make sure it's there, and then out. You don't have to do this, I guess, um, or or go in a particular direction. I just like to make sure that I'm pushing any of the dust either to the top or to the side. Leave that there. We'll open this microfiber cloth to make sure that we get any of the different dust off off of the phone and it appears to be pretty clean okay we'll set this to the side here and then they have the dust remover so we want to make sure that we do a good job here on removing any dust so make sure that you got all of the dust out. And I forgot to wear my gloves, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put on these gloves. Now, it's not required, but your fingers have oil on it. And if, let's say you did all of this whole process and you eventually just accidentally touched the screen for some reason. Well, you know what? Your 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 oils on your hand are going to be on that screen. And it's not going to be 
nicely done or nicely put on the foam. So I put on these gloves just to make sure that I don't put any of the oils on there because you know I don't like I don't like bubbles. I don't like bubbles on my devices when I'm putting the screen protector on. This is to ensure that that, that doesn't happen. So I think I got it. I think it's pretty clean now. I'll leave that here. I'm going to take off this particular screen protector. Make sure you don't touch the edge of, of it. Okay. And then we're just going to plop it on like that. It looks good. Now I have not touched the middle of it which is by design and you can see it's rapidly already covering the device. That's great. Doesn't look like it has any any holes or any potential issues. And there it is. It's perfect. Um, let's go ahead and just make sure that this is this is there. And then we'll take off these stickers real quick so that you can see the device without the stickers on it. And it looks pretty clean. I think you did a pretty good job there. A little bit of bubble here. We'll just, we'll just do that. And then there you go. So the screen, I haven't even turned this machine on. I haven't even turned this device on, yet I already have a protective cover on it. And then what we'll do is for extra protection, first we'll, and this is, this is the Omoton, again, the Omoton screen protector. And then, oh, I forgot, there's a bag to this. So what we'll do, and I think this one is pretty much, this again, this is a tempered glass uh, screen protector and it's supposed to go over here. I'm not sure how to really align this. We'll sort of go through the same process again. So let me go through and clean this part of the glass. We'll use the microfiber and make sure that it's clean and that there's no residue there. We'll, I don't, uh, I've already put on this dust absorbo absorber but I don't think there's dust on it anyway so we should be okay there and then what I'm going to do here is pop out the screen protector and we're going to eyeball this one um let's see okay so here it is we're going to just eyeball where the sensors are and this is easily you can easily take this off, so I'm not too concerned about this. It looks okay. We'll just make sure that that's in the right spot. It looks good, centered. Yeah, here we go. So there it is. So that one is installed. Looks nice. It's 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 this is a black bar, and having this on with it being black it's barely noticeable that it actually has an issue. All right, so the last one that I'm going to do is this Spigen uh, Ultra Hybrid Clear Case. And so I bought this before, um, I bought this um, right after I bought basically or pre-ordered the device. It's really nice, it has some flexibility to it. I like clear cases. This is one of the reasons why I have this on a microfiber is because again, I don't want scratches on the actual device itself. And I wanna make sure that everything is still pretty, like you just took it out of the box. And so we won't remove the back one because the back one is just uh, there, but we will remove this middle one, okay? And then what I like to do is sort of like grab it here and then over. And then we'll, I like to do the button side first, it really doesn't matter. And then we'll put the phone in its case. So here it is. You have 
the glass screen protector on the actual device. You have the protector on the actual uh, camera. And now I have the case on the phone. This phone is light. If I compare it to this Pixel 4, it is super, super light compared to the 4. I mean, of course, the 4 has um, glass back and, and all that stuff, but this this is this is pretty light um i can say so now that we've had the screen protector and that on i'll just go ahead and remove the back and now i like the i like this case this case looks like it has a lot of good protection on it and not only that but it has it shows the color so if you got that sage green or or um it would really look nice. I am a fan of all things black. I like the charcoal. I like the, the just black for the Pixel 4 XL, um, which is really nice. So definitely um, I would recommend the screen protector. I just wish it had a guide. This particular case seems like it will be good. I do have the later case that is Kevlar. So I'll probably do a quick video about that. But so far, so good. And then I'll charge this up and give you some of the final thoughts. So you saw me install the Omaton screen protector and the uh, Spigen Ultra Hybrid clear case. So I wish they did have, um, I, I was wrong, I, I, I really like the, the, um, the guide for the phones that you uh, put over the phone and then install the screen screen protector. It really takes the guesswork out of it. Um, I was able to put on the screen protector without any issue. And so, it, I mean, I've used this for probably overnight and a little bit into the day. And there's no issues with the fingerprint sensor, with the Omaton screen protector. Um, it's centered right. So I did a pretty good job on creating that hinge so that when I collapsed the, the, the screen protector onto the phone, it, it actually set in the correct position so that uh, the, the forward front facing camera uh, was, was clear. So, I mean, it's, it's sufficient. I mean, it's, it's six, it was, when I bought it, it was seven bucks. So, uh, and they give you three pieces. So there's no, there's no complaints there. It's definitely a really good price for a 9H hardness screen protector. Uh, I have two more. Uh, maybe they'll come out with a guide in the future, but that may increase the price point. So for $7, I can't complain. I'm really digging this, uh, this vegan ultra hybrid clear case. Um, does have a lot of fingerprint, um, this uh, gloss, glossy back uh, that's, that's not textured at all. It, it, it is a fingerprint magnet, so I mean, but you can easily just wipe it off and it will be clear. That, this, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a plus or a minus. Some people may want to put a picture or whatever inside the case so you can see it. So, it's fine. I mean, it, it's, I don't, I don't see if I have wet hands or something. This case is not going to fall out of my hands. It still has that super uh, grippy surface on the edges. And so, I'm not too upset about um, this piece of it. Um, if you want to put a pop socket, it's perfect for this because it's a very uh, smooth surface that you can put it. It'll probably adhere pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with uh, both options. Now I do have the later case where it's uh, DuPont Kevlar and it's thinner. I will probably put that on and maybe do a review about it. So keep an eye out for that. But and all, that's how you install the screen protector and also the case. And I really am very careful about right the moment that I get the phone to put on the screen protector and also put it on the case so, so it protects the phone. I do have two kids, so it's pretty uh, essential that I, that I have that immediately. Uh, so definitely if you like this video, if it helps you in any way, give me a thumbs up. If you want additional content, please click subscribe. And again, this is Tony with Tony's Tippets. Until next time.